Hey everybody, I'm Tara from Crooked Row, and today we are going to do sweet potato slip starts in less than five minutes. So, what do we need for today? We need sweet potatoes, and look, these sweet potatoes, they're dirty. <laughs> they like, they still have some soil on them. I mean, I brushed them off the best I could for storage, but you just pick some of your, they're not like the little tiny ones, but these are smaller sweet potatoes, okay? And then you need damp seed starting mix. And I'm gonna get mine wet right now. Okay, so next we need just an old broken down tray. I mean, this has cracks in it, we've taped it. Uh, you'll want it to retain some moisture because uh, you want this to kind of the, the soil mix staying wet um, but any broken down container that's going to hold sweet potatoes is fine so I'm gonna fill this with my wet mix okay so I'm just gonna take and look at this wet mix now I make this a little bit more wet than I do with my seeds uh, th this um, sweet potatoes are a rainforest crop from South America, so they like it wet and humid. So I am going to fill this up. Okay, and just like that, look, this is all you do. You nuzzle this down into the potting mix. And that's what I'm going to do with all the potatoes I've got. That's it. In less than five minutes. Okay, we had to move into the greenhouse because it was too windy to film outside still, but it feels great because this greenhouse is 90 degrees today. So I want to encourage you to do this. If you have no time, I have no time today. I have had, uh, I've been at wrestling tournaments all weekend and my son is going to state and my son my son, who's a senior, just wrestled his last tournaments this past weekend. Like, like we are a very busy family. Sweet potatoes are something that you can grow. I mean, it is super easy to start. I just started an entire tray, and that one tray will give you <clears throat> 30 sweet potato starts. So we grow a lot of sweet potatoes here because we have six people, um, but we're going to start more trays than what we just did of course i always start more than what i do on on camera but i want, wanted you to see how fast and easy it can be most people aren't going to need more than 25 starts um but that is the best way i did the water method before and i actually have that um in in some of our what do you call them Elijah? archive films <laughs> um and and we got sweet potato starts from that method. It was difficult, the water would get stinky and you would have to empty it out. Um, I mean, I just, I hated that method. You had to like, and again, we start so many that you had to have all this room for the canning jars. That does not work for me and our setup. Now, if you're only gonna do one sweet potato, the water method's great too. This method actually, is less time I don't need a bunch of supplies uh, it's it, all I have to worry about now is keeping that that soilless mix moist and so I would check on it every couple of days to make sure that it is it's staying moist some people need to cover them and some people don't and the reason why I said that is because last year I got or maybe it was two years ago I got a lot of questions about that and so we did tests on it and depending on wh where we had them stored, like some places were more warm and moist than others or humid, not moist, humid than others. And so, so those places didn't necessarily need to have a cover on it. 
Um, some people swear by you got to have a cover. It's got, the cover has, needs to have the water, you know, condensation all over the top. That is not necessary for me. But if you find that your soil is getting dry, go ahead and do it. You may have to water your soil. Um, it's okay to get it on the potatoes. I wouldn't saturate your potatoes. I would try to kind of get it in the soil. And then the other thing is, is it can take up to two weeks sometimes a month for them to sprout and so last year I had I mean they were just going like crazy and there was one potato that just wouldn't sprout and so I just thought it was a dud but I left it that one took almost two months like like we were in summer by then and it started growing like crazy and so I actually left it to kind of see what it would do and I I just brought it outside and and I would water it keep it moist and stuff it, it grew probably 110, that one potato grew probably 110 starts. So if you are looking for the easiest method that gives maximum yield for slips and, and oh wait, 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 I wanna put this in too, sorry. You, you can cut your slips and stick them in water and let them root and keep that potato in your soilless mix and they will continue to produce slips. So like if you want a staggered planting or if you realize that it's not enough, you can keep cutting slips and they'll keep growing. They'll keep growing you slips. Another note I wanna say is, and, and maybe we'll do another video when I actually start cutting slips is, you do want a little bit of development on the stem before you cut. And what I mean by that is, I noticed that we had faster growth rates when there were two sets of leaves on the vine that I cut off the potato. So, so you just take that, you stick that in water and let it root. Some people put it right in the garden and if you're ready, if you're ready in your area to go ahead and plant, you can do that. Just water them in very, very well. So the whole point though for me, and I mean I've been gardening for 12 years, this is the fastest, easiest, best storing method for starting your own sweet potato slips. There is absolutely no reason why anyone can't do this. So remember, if we can start our own sweet potato slips, anybody can. Thanks. Bye.